It is long past time. We have a $15 federal minimum wage. A minimum wage that is a living wage, winning that fight for 15. That's one of many reasons we need to raise the minimum wage to at least $15 an hour. We have got to raise that minimum wage to $15 an hour. All right, the fight for 15 has become a major talking point for the 2020 Democrats. But now, one of its most vocal supporters, Senator Bernie Sanders, has found himself in a compensation controversy. Yeah, does what happened with his campaign prove that a $15 federal minimum wage uh, could be an economic disaster? Here to discuss that from the stock swoosh is Melissa Armo. Thanks for coming on this morning. morning. So he's implementing this with his campaign staffers, and that means he's got to cut back hours. Now, the Congressional Budget Office did a report on what would happen if you implement that in the whole country. And let's take a look at that right off the bat, because it shows that, on average, they think it could cost about 1.3 million American jobs. So has what happened with Bernie Sanders' campaign kind of foreshadowing this result? Definitely. And it's indicative to what would happen to businesses. Remember, if you increase the cost of your payroll, that's usually the largest expense for a business unless you own real estate. The money's got to come from somewhere. It's just not going to drop out of the sky. Businesses, if they have to pay more, are either going to cut back their hours, just like what's happening with Bernie Sanders staffers, or they're going to have to increase the cost of whatever they're selling. The money has to come from somewhere. But to the point of the people saying that the minimum wage has to be increased, no one who can live on $15 an hour. Even if we increase it to that, that's $300 a week. You could not survive in New York City on $300 a week. And to be honest with you, I don't think anyone can, let alone if you had a family, even if you were single. The idea of the minimum wage is a starter job. You graduate college or you graduate high school, it's a starter yeah. position. It's not supposed to be something that you live on for the rest of your life. It really isn't even a living wage mm -hmm. at $15 an hour. Let's take a look at this quote um, from Bernie Sanders defending the staff compensation, and it says, quote, field organizers make $36,000 a year with 100 percent employer paid health care, as well as paid vacation and sick leave. For a staffer working 40 hours a week, that comes out to about $17 an hour. But 40-hour work weeks on presidential campaigns are rare. Sanders said the campaign will limit the number of hours staffers work, ensuring they're making the equivalent of $15 an hour. And Melissa, is this going to be the thing that Come, that we look back and say a year from now, say this is the thing that came back to bite him. I just don't think it's a good idea the way it's coming about. Maybe he had a good philosophy. Again, a lot of these Democrats have great ideas, but where's the money going to come from? Somebody has to pay for it. And clearly his campaign can't even support paying for it. So how is it going to be that businesses can, especially a small business and even big businesses like Amazon, for example, they're going to yeah. cut corners. The, I mean, the money has to come from somewhere because they're not going to make less. But there, I mean, th what this is trying to get at, though, it, there is a real struggle in this country with the cost of living rising faster than wages. And that is the grander scheme that they're trying to take care of here with, with talk like this. What is the right answer to that problem? You know, I think people have to educate themselves so that they can get better paying jobs. I mean, yeah. really, I mean, that's what, what it comes down to. The solution are fine jobs where you can get bonuses. For example, say you have a salary position and you make 40 grand a year, find a job that's going to pay you a bonus if you work overtime or if you bring in a certain amount of sales. So you, I mean, you can make bonuses at jobs. Sometimes if your salary is 40 grand a year, you can make $20,000 a year in bonuses and then you're at 60,000. Now that's a lot better than say 32,000 or 40,000. I think people really, I Ideally, these minimum wage, job, minimum wage jobs were set out to help people start out. Mm -hmm. The best thing people can do is work hard, find better jobs, don't give up. If you've been having a hard time finding a good job out there, just keep keep going. you got to yeah. keep plugging away. Yeah. 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 All right, real quick, we want to get your reaction to this. As you know, we're expecting to hear from Robert Mueller this week. It's going to be a big week, a busy news week. But the question is, what is this going to do to the markets, do you think, this week? I definitely think this is going to be a very interesting day. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of like a Federal Reserve Day where the Fed comes out and says they're going to raise rates or they're going to drop rates because I think the market's going to be wild. Now, that's being said, long term, I don't think this is going to negatively affect the market. But on Wednesday, Wednesday, if you're an active trader, I say take a step back. And if you're a long-term investor, I'm sure that whatever moves the yeah. market has that are wild, it, it just wiggles and jiggles and comes right back. But I'll tell you right now, the market it's loves obscene, Trump. It's obscene. Uh, 27,000 on the Dow. Yeah, 27,000.
2,000 on the Dow. We made new highs on the yeah. S&P. We made more new highs since Trump got elected. And in fact, we're nowhere near where the market yeah. was when Trump got elected. So if you, in fact, I think there's zero percent that the market ever goes back to the price that it was at on the day that Trump got elected, unless for some reason he does not get reelected. I, I, <laughs> you're right, Melissa. Thank yeah. you so much. We do appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. for joining us. It is 19 minutes after the hour. A food fight in Washington. The new rules being unveiled today that could strip millions of their benefits but save the country billions. And Amanda Knox wants to have the best party ever, and she needs your help. The acquitted killer's shameless crowdfunding appeal for her wedding. Stay tuned.